I don't think it's going to become a thing where it's like, you know, games are going to completely destroy films. You know, there's this uh, this study that came out just came out just recently about uh, the consumption of entertainment, and obviously, when it comes to like Gen Z and like earlier, uh, the 24 percent of the time that they spend when it comes to entertainment is games, and is a much higher than any other forms of entertainment. And those numbers are getting higher and higher in other generations, especially due to pandemic, where people were, you know, didn't have any other entertainment or form of collaboration. So how close you think we as gaming companies are to take over the movie world in and movie world not becoming obsolete but becoming very much secondary everything has its place right like you know games are going a lot of places you know film has been around for you know over a century um as a as an artistic medium like yeah they all have their place you know film is is linear right Here's a beginning, middle, end, right? With games, it's very nonlinear. There's more interactivity, right? Like it, it depends on what you know people um, feel like they they're drawn to, right? What do they consume the most? Um, I think with millennials or you know all, all of our generations that have grown up playing video games, it's it's completely natural for us to want to interact with things and you know want to be able to interact with the environment that we're you know. Uh, you know, exposed to, right, through a game or, you know, some type of like, you know, VR type of environment. I don't think it's going to become a thing where it's like, you know, games are going to completely destroy films. I mean, I think like as far as revenue is concerned, like, you know, games are already there. Um, but it's, it, yeah, it just ultimately comes down to, uh, you know, what do the people want? I mean, I just wonder how the collaboration is going to be in the industry, right? I mean, they're already the, the, the lens of the entertainment that is consumed by people, which is what TikTok and Instagram videos, right? Who's using the technology that we have and using tools for virtual production doesn't have to be unreal. Maybe, you know, other engines are going to come up with their own stuff. Can we accompany the gaming experience that we release with certain, um, I don't know, not cinematics, but like, cutscenes or certain episodical stuff that could um, cater to both gamers and people who don't want to having a gaming experience, but also want to be a part of the universe. Like, is that where video games are going? Or you think we're not there yet? Oh, yeah, I think we're totally there. Yeah, you look at like real time rendering, you know, like some of the stuff that they're doing with Unreal on Star Wars, you know, like absolutely fantastic work, right? You're doing like real time VFX, you know, on... Um, you know, on a TV show on Disney Plus, right? And that's they're, they're utilizing you know a real time game engine, you know, to to visualize some of this stuff. And I I think a lot of it just comes down to how do we progress you know each um, you know medium forward with the technology that we currently have. The bigger question for me is how much are people consuming, right? Mm. That's that's the question that I have because uh, I it, you know as when I tell people I'm a game developer or an artist, people will say, oh, so you, you know, they'll, they'll reference grandma's boy for one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. The levels, I mean, not sex. Grandma's boy wasn't how game development um, is, is, you know, is in the real world, right? Like you don't sit there and you don't play and test all day. It's actually a lot of hard work. It's a lot of critical thinking. 